morning from day number three here in Copenhagen. Now I have checked out. I slept like a baby last night. It was uh, a long day yesterday. Uh, today I'm actually going for only one or perhaps one and a half attractions. Uh, I think that's that's good enough. So uh, checked out of the hotel. Uh, realized that the breakfast was super expensive, 175 Danish, which is over 200 Swedish, I believe. Uh, but in total, uh, quite a good stay, even though it was a shared bathroom and shared toilet. War Museum, which opens at 10. There are no other people here right now, so I guess I'm one of the first. And that's good, because then I can walk around freely. Several of the people at the breakfast buffet this morning were heading for a cruise tonight. And that's the beauty of the Baltic Sea. You can visit basically four or five countries in five days on a cruise. So this has been built as an Afghan base camp and uh, pretty realistic I would say. I haven't been to Afghan myself but or Afghanistan but um, I guess uh, this is pretty accurate, really nice. Being at a military museum is usually a mixed feeling. It's good to know your history and uh, I guess uh, that always the fact that we are basically just showing things for for um, killing people. So, uh, and also the history. History of a country is usually very interesting. This model is uh, really big. I think it's around 10 by 3 meters or so. Photo advice when taking photos at museums. It's uh, not that easy. Usually museums are rather... Um, dark places for natural reasons. They don't want their uh, exhibitions to be affected by the sunlight of course. So uh, you should have a camera with a good light, low light capabilities and also taking photos of things behind glass is super tricky. Use a wide angle lens uh, or a wide focal length and um, go as close to the uh, glass as you, you can or want um, just to, to get away of the, the glare. That was the war museum and I just realized that uh, admittance or entrance to this was actually included in the Copenhagen card. So double check what's included in your card. Don't do the same as I did. Of course it was only 75 kroner so it wasn't that bad. Visit to a museum means that you will learn new things and today I learned a new thing. Kameva is actually short for Karlstad Mechanical Workshop or Karlstad Mechaniska Verkstad. And those were pioneers in creating a special type of propeller. Changing of speed and course through the water was performed by altering the pitch of the propeller blades using the hydraulic, hydraulic pressure links from the Kameva pumps. By this, it was able to extremely quickly to alter speed as it no longer was necessary first to change the speed of the engines. And another top tip for visiting museums abroad. Take as many pictures and videos as you like. If you're even a little bit hesitant to I think, should I do this picture or not, then do it, because you might never return to this specific museum again. So that's my top tip for today. Take as many pictures as you can, uh, as the memory card will allow you. You might never see this museum again. Uh, whiskey, this is uh, Delta Unknown uh, 
This is Delta uh, Faker 414 and 999 Tiger 1 and 3 tracking inbound uh, speed medium uh, few a uh, second a bird away. Echo over. Now this is Echo over chart. This is the open bridge of this other scram over there. We do have today four cruise ships visiting a museum of military. It uh, gives you mixed feelings. Should we uh, should we say yes or no to this? But at the same time, it's good to get the history of, of uh, everything. Take it for what it is. The Contiki Bar, right by the Opera House, and some beer, and some of these, really nice. So, cheers, and uh, let's meet you later. At lunch, and now just in time for the guided tour of the submarine. Another private tour at the submarine. Apparently, there are not that many tourists around at this time of the year. The schools and at June 30 and they will start at August 19. So basically this is the first week of the summer vacation for kids. Time is flying the train which has been cancelled and replaced by an earlier train. will leave uh, just before 7 p.m. So I do have three more hours now in Copenhagen. Pick up my luggage and head for the train. I really 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 don't want to miss it even though it's not that far. I can possibly get back home. Let's uh, go back to Sweden. Here at the Donkey Republic, one more time, unlock my bike. So I'll just use the app and it will connect via Bluetooth and there we go! It's unlocked. Even though my train was cancelled for traveling from uh, Copenhagen to Malmö, I was able to travel by another train company called Öresunds Tog and uh, it worked beautifully, no problems at all. There was also no problem in the identity control or passport control uh, as Scandinavians do allow to use our uh, driver's license or, or national ID. Don't have to use the passport. So. so now I'm in Malmö enjoying the sunset. It uh, will basically only take I guess a quarter of an hour more, 15 more minutes and then the sun will have set on this lovely building back here. Here you are. Super lovely building. Just tried to do my first time lapse shot and I do think that I failed completely. And uh, for once it was a bad time of the year here in Sweden. The sun almost never sets at this time of the year. So my time lapse was almost an hour, but still it was not visible that much. Uh, second wrong thing I did was to use auto mode all the time. I guess that's the wrong way to do it. It's better to uh, do it in manual mode so that you will actually see the differences between different uh, shots. If you're too afraid to uh, try because you think you will fail, then you will never be able to succeed. So uh, that's uh, the thing for today.